What is up, YouTube? Tony 2.0 here, coming to you guys today for Mad as Hell Monday. If you're new to the channel or new around here, Mad as Hell Monday is a weekly series that I do where basically I find something either in the world, in my life, around the internet, on Xbox, whatever, that pisses me off, drives me crazy, makes me angry, and we talk about it. Today, I'm gonna. I'm, it's tough to explain this, but we are going to talk about passive aggressive people and companies. There has been some things going on at the place that I work that just drive me absolutely crazy. This whole topic gets into one of my favorite words ever the pussification of this fucking country. What's going on at my work, you ask? Basically, I work for a gigantic corporation. And if you are one of those people as well, or someday you become one, what you'll understand is you are not a person to them. You are not whoever you are. I'm not Tony to them. I'm, I'm nothing. All I am is a number. I am nothing that can't be replaced in their eyes. Now, there are some problems with that. One... They can't do anything that I would be, that I would deem as offensive or unconstitutional, things like that. That goes for all of my coworkers. Now, what has happened recently is there has been some people abusing the system, abusing our policy of being at work. Those people have made it tough for the people who actually abide by these rules. Let me give you a description. Basically, there were some people who decided they would show up to work 5 to 15 minutes late every single day of the week. Well, instead of talking to those people, those problem people, what the company decided to do was make one blanket policy that covers everyone. So, basically what this policy states is, if you are X amount of minutes late, this is considered an occurrence. This many occurrences, you get fired, right? Why do we feel that we have to be passive aggressive about it? Why can't the company just walk up to Sally McPherson and say, I, I don't actually work with a Sally McPherson, I'm just saying a name. Why can't they just walk up and say, Sally, look, you're fucking up. We hired you to be here at work at this time. This is your scheduled time. This is your warning. You do it again, you're fired. You're gone, right? Well, no. Instead, we get this blanket policy that is so vague and so cumbersome that people who, some of my coworkers who have kids, can't even take a day off of work if their kids are sick or if they get sick because of this policy because if you have so many of these occurrences you could be fired for it so now everybody's freaking out and, and, and scared for their jobs and it's it's ridiculous there are offices at where i work that if you are one minute late clocking in you could get written up for it that's a little excessive to me i understand that there is always someone who abuses that now, for me, the job that I do enables me to kind of uh, almost set my own schedule. That's a good and a bad thing because that means, well, when the when should I be at work? What what the time? Whatever. That's that's kind of not the the point of it. The thing is, is that we should not be catering. What what you're doing by uh, by making this blanket statement is instead of addressing the issue at its root, you limit and demoralize a lot of what's going on. Now, that's not the only policy that there's a problem with. And I do believe that, yes, you should be to work on time. I really don't have a problem with that. But what happens if traffic's bad? What happens if there's a huge accident? Then I'm late. Then I get looked at as bad? It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Let's take a look at some other things like that. Let, let's, let's take it to the religion area. And this may be a little bit of a stretch, but... It's just kind of something that came into my head. Let's think about murder. The killing of another human being has been labeled as a cardinal sin. That is a blanket statement for all Catholics and all derivatives of the Catholic Church. 
Cain killed Abel, so now nobody else can fucking kill anybody? You are condemned if you kill anybody, no matter what. What, what that sin is, is the taking of another person's life. In some religions, it is classified as an innocent person. What justifies an innocent person? If you have impure thoughts, if you think evil things, you are no longer considered innocent. So, find me someone who has not had an impure thought or, or thought something bad, right? <laughs> really, what this has kind of really brought into the forefront of my mind is because gun control. There are a very small fraction of the population worldwide, not just in America, that commit heinous crimes with guns. Go into schools, shoot those up, whatever. Tragedies across the board. We aren't taking away from that. But instead of attacking the problem at the root again, you want to make a blanket fucking statement and a blanket law to cover everyone, right? Let's get rid of assault rifles. Let's limit this. Let's make it harder to get uh, guns. Let, let's make it tougher for people to go out and, and legally acquire firearms. Who in their right mind thinks that people shooting up schools are law-abiding citizens? If you think that, you need to go have yourself checked. No one that goes out and shoots up a school or kills their neighbor or kills their girlfriend because they're fucking some other guy, those are not law-abiding citizens. Why would you ever think that more laws will keep this stuff from happening? It is a fine line, and I'm kind of on both sides of it. I don't think that Americans need assault rifles. I, I really don't think that if you're going to go deer hunting, you need an AR-15 or an M-16. That, that's kind of where I draw the line. As far as handguns go, shotguns, even high-powered rifles for whatever you want to do. It says in our Constitution that we are allowed to keep and bear arms, and I agree with that. I think everyone should be able to protect themselves if they need to. Look at somebody like my boy Sim. Lives in Detroit. That dude should own a gun. That dude should probably own multiple guns. They are going to make it tougher for people who actually want to legally acquire a firearm because of people who do things illegally. To me, that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You guys tell me what you think. Put it in the comments. I mean, have you ever been something, been involved or had something put on you like what I go through at my work with this blanket coverage and attendance policy crap? As we do every week with this segment, with this series, I want to leave you with a quote. And it's one of my, one of my real favorites. And it's from Chris Rock. And you guys may have heard it before. But it speaks right to this topic, and I think that it's something that maybe we should consider. It goes just like this. We don't need gun control. You know what we need? We need, we need to control the bullets. That's right. I think all bullets should cost $5,000. $5,000 per bullet. You know why? Because if bullets cost $5,000, there would be no more innocent bystanders. Every time somebody got shot, we'd say, damn, they must have done something, some shit. Dude's got $50,000 with the bullets in his ass. There's more to that, but that's the gist of it. Let's get some bullet control. Fuck gun control. Let the rednecks and whoever else wants to have guns have their guns. Creating more laws will not stop criminals. That's the bottom line. People that do things illeg illegally do not pay attention to laws. Anyways, guys, that's my time. My name's Tony 2.0. If you like the video, click that like button. If you're new around here, click the subscribe button. I got plenty more of that stuff coming. I will check you guys the next time. Peace.